Hey everybody, yup, just like everybody else on YouTube, I've got myself a CR-10, but unlike everybody else on YouTube, I am not so enamored with this machine that I am not willing to talk to you about the problem hidden within this machine. Stay tuned to find out the reality of the creality. <laughs> it's pretty clever, and just, I came up with that like just now. Alright, so for those who don't know, the CR-10 is a 3D printer by Creality that comes almost pre-assembled. It takes a little bit of assembly, a couple of bolts putting it together, but honestly from unboxing to the time that you're actually printing, that includes assembling, calibrating, and getting everything ready, two hours tops, which is amazing if you've ever had to assemble your own 3D printer. It definitely is nothing to complain about in that department. You also, you can't complain about the price. The price on this one is set what I think is just absolutely perfect. Could you get a better 3D printer if you were willing to spend more money? Sure. But could you get a better 3D printer if you were willing to spend less? No, because this is, considering everything, your time to put it together, and the fact that it prints right out of the box, and the ease of use, and everything that comes in with it, it is per priced perfectly. Nothing to complain with about that. Now, there are some, how did they put it in the forums, questionable design decisions, questionable engineering decisions, I think they called it, that some people are complaining about. And it's true, there are things about this 3D printer that, after a while of using, you might go, oh, I wonder why they did it that way. I'd like to fix it. You know, one of the first things that stood out to me is that the removable build plate, oh, by the way, the build plate's removable, but it's held on with these little alligator clips that you buy at Home Depot or something. And that just, it seems tacky. Plus, they bite into the build plate a lot, a lot more than I'm really comfortable with, almost a, a centimeter into the build plate. But you know, I was able to fix that because I was able to print this snake clip that just snakes underneath it and holds it in on both sides. Now, when something presents a problem to you, but works well enough right out of the box that it is also the solution, I don't complain about that because this 3D printer, I did not think that I needed to go to another 3D printer to print parts for it to make it work right out of the box. I was able to print its own solutions for myself, for it, on it. And that's super cool and absolutely nothing to complain about. I can't even complain about the materials. I was using high temp materials on day one and I've been running through, running a lot of ASA through this thing, high temp plastic, without a bit of problem with it. So that's nothing to complain about. It's not PLA only, it'll use the good stuff. I'm not sure it'll use flexibles, but I don't know. I will also say that Creality, this is one of the older CR10s, but the newer CR10s that are coming out, they've taken the input that they've gotten from the community, fixes that the community has made, and turned around and put them in their newer versions of the printer. A company that actually listens to their users and improves their machines, that is nothing to complain about either. It's absolutely amazing. Can't complain about the sample filament that they sent. I mean, look at this thing. This is, yeah, it's a small spool, but it's a huge sample. It's big enough that you can print the sample prints that come on the G-code card. We'll talk about that in a bit. But also you can print your own stuff and, and get used to printing with it and then go, oh, I'm gonna need some more filament and order some more filament and have that filament arrive and still not run out of filament from this sample roll. This is Huge Creality doesn't do anything small. And guys, you do you. That is amazing. I absolutely love it. Now, the build volume on this 3D printer is massive. This is the first 3D printer that I've had that I could print something that would fit over my head. And that is amazing. But that does present a little problem to me. See, the thing is, as things print bigger. They take more time, they take more material, and if anything goes wrong during the print, that's a lot of time and material that you're out while you, you know, try again. So this build volume, it actually kind of scares me a little bit, but you know what? It's time to overcome my fear. I'm going to print 
I'm going to print one of these little low poly dinos that I'm working on and I'm going to scale this little guy up as big as I can print it and I'm going to uh, film it on the Raspberry Pi that I've hooked up here because I'm not in love with the user interface but I'm not going to complain because I can fix it with a Raspberry Pi and a touch screen on here so that I can get it going so let's let's print this dinosaur just as big as we can and see what happens. Holy smokes, it printed the first time. Now I printed this with 0% infill, so some of the top layers don't look very good, uh, but that's, that's just a fault of the printing, not the printer. I could fix that with just a little bit of infill, but look at this thing. I even turned it sideways so I could scale it up just that little bit more. And look, I've still got filament. I didn't run out. And I was a little bit concerned about the print. I was getting some nasty lift. On the tail here, I was afraid it was going to pop off and, and ruin the print, but it stayed the course. It stayed on there, and it finished this print. Oh, my goodness. This thing is beautiful. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing. Maybe I can cut a little hole in it and a hole in the bottom and make it into a piggy bank or something, but it printed. It worked. It succeeded, and you know what? I'm not afraid of this thing's build volume anymore. I feel confident that the prints can and will work. You know what just happened? This printer pushed me just a little bit so that I would try something new and grow and be a better person. I can't complain about that. That is amazing. It is wonderful. I'm, I'm actually really happy that I had this experience with the CR-10. It's, it's made me a better person. But you know, there's still something that I got to complain about. It's right here. It's right, right over here. Not the SD card, it's on the SD card. On this SD card are all the files and programs you need to print, can't complain about that. And the manual for this printer, can't complain about that. And some sample G-code files. Now, I very rarely use the sample G-code files, but I decided this time that I was going to play their game and print their sample files. I don't need other people's junk, I got enough of my own junk, Never mind. I'll do it this one time. And when I did that, what did I see? layer shifts on my y-axis. It looked to me like the y-axis of my brand new 3D printer was somehow broken and that I was going to have to fix it. So I went on Google, I started to try to find the solution, and thank goodness I found other people who had had a similar problem, but it turned out the problem wasn't the printer. It was corrupt G-code. The, the file got corrupted and it got onto their master and it got sent out to 10,000 people. And so a lot of people got corrupted G-code on this SD card. And that is unacceptable. It's a piece of software. It's a file that you can change. And yet you let that slip, let that go out to 10,000 people. And we all panicked because we thought that, well, I panicked anyways. I cannot tell you the amount of stress that this caused me thinking, New 3D printer broken right out of the box. What am I going to do? And it's not. It's fine. It was the G code that was bad that I shouldn't have even printed in the first place. That's not cool, Creality. Not cool at all. But besides that, this is a fantastic 3D printer. Now, if you would like to get your own Creality CR10 3D printer, there will be a link to a GearBest link in the description that will support my channel, and I'll have a good coupon to bring that great price even lower. But if you would like to have this CR10, I'm going to sell this CR10. There will be a link in the description where you can bid on it on eBay. Limited edition, labeled with 3D printer. It will come with the Raspberry Pi, Octopi already set up and running on it, and a couple of little 
upgrades that I've done on it to make it just a little bit better for you so that you don't have to worry about that. I'm not even going to disassemble it. I'm just going to get a big box, pack it in styrofoam, and make sure that you can get this so that you don't even have to assemble it. Just pull it out and start printing with it on day one. And that will be available to raise some funds for the channel and for some other projects that I want to be working on. So if you can, check it out. Bid on this, uh, uh, on this 3D printer. Please bid generously to, to help me do what I do and do more of what I do. Uh, but otherwise, you can support me also by checking it out on GearBest. And you know, there have been people complaining about GearBest. You can buy this printer elsewhere. Can't complain about that either. It's honestly, there's no downside to this 3D printer. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And I can't wait to, to get this in the hands of somebody else and, and try out some more 3D printers. Well, hey, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this silly little video, my silly little review of the CR10. I want to thank you guys very much for supporting me, my Patreon backers, and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing, but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer? Oh, 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 uh, one last thing. Uh, if the audio in this video was markedly better than it's been recently, I have you guys to thank for that. Comments in my video, help out on Twitter, and my Patreon supporters allowing me to get the equipment that I needed to fix this is making this channel better and easier on your ears. So thank you guys sincerely very much. Ooh, <laughs> I just smacked the microphone.